Restream.io gives VTubers and streamers an amazing advantage over others. We all know the streaming sphere is very competitive, so streaming on platforms like Twitch, Kick, YouTube, and Facebook can set you apart from everyone else. But you're probably wondering to yourself, how do you do it? The first thing you gotta do is head over to Restream.io. Once there, you wanna log in and make an account. Once you get onto the Restream website, it's gonna ask you to select your plan. We're gonna close that and we're gonna go with the free option, which allows us to stream to two different channels. On the bottom left hand side, we're gonna click on Add Destination, and then we're gonna click on our first platform. I'm gonna choose Twitch, and right away, it's gonna grab our stream keys once we click Authorize. But not all platforms are like this, and sometimes we have to enter our stream key manually. So let's see how we do that. For this next example, we're gonna use Kick. So we're gonna click on Edit Destinations, we're gonna click on Add Destinations, and then we're gonna click on Kick. As we see, it's asking for channel URL, RTMP URL, and stream key. To get our channel URL, all we're gonna do is head over to Kick. we're gonna copy it, from the top, we're gonna plop it in there. To get our RMTP URL, what we're gonna do is go back to Kick, click on the top right hand side, go down to settings. We're gonna go to stream key and we're gonna copy the stream URL. We'll plop it in there. We'll go to create a dashboard again. We're gonna copy our stream key and then plop it in there. And then we're gonna click on add channel. Once you're done adding the channel, what you wanna do is hit subscribe on this YouTube channel and liking this video. It really does help us out in the algorithm. Let's talk real quick about removing a channel and adding a new one. Back at our destinations, to remove a channel, all we gotta do is just click on the channel we want to remove and click edit, and then click on remove destination, and then click save. Great, now let's talk about adding this to OBS. On Restream's website, all we need to do is click on setup for OBS, zoom, etc. And then we're gonna copy this RTMP URL and our stream key. Here on OBS, all we gotta do is click on the settings button, click on the stream tab. We're gonna change our service from YouTube, Twitch to custom. We're gonna pop in our RMTP URL into here. And then we're gonna grab our stream key and pop it into here. Or the best method is we're gonna click on service and we're gonna click on restream.io. And we're just gonna click on connect account, which is recommended. Enter in all of our credentials and that is honestly the better way of doing things. And just like that, you're all done and ready to go. You're set up for restreaming. Stick around if you want some more tips. In the beginning of the video, I did mention using the free version of Restream. If you do want to stream to more than just two platforms, or you want higher bandwidth, please feel free to buy the higher end version. But I do suggest trying the free version first, see if you like it, and then upgrade from there. Some troubleshooting tips. In OBS, sometimes Restream doesn't connect properly, so you might have to go back into the settings, go back to where the stream key is, disconnect, and re-log in to the Restream service. Sometimes in OBS, your Restream docs that appear when you log in sometimes vanish. Again, you might have to log out and log back in to get them back, or click on docs at the top of OBS and re-enable the Restream docs. Sometimes your Restream chat doc doesn't work or populate correctly. To fix this, all you need to do is refresh the cache for each scene, and it should repopulate again. Again, I'm your VTuber Senpai. I stream here on YouTube every Friday at 5 p.m. PST. So come on and by, say hi. Let's talk about anime, gaming, VTubing, whatever. And well, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.